What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today I'm talking about some Halo news that just dropped about the future of Halo Infinite. Sketch had officially released a PSA really discussing kind of how they are going to be shifting their focus away from the narrative of Halo Infinite and prioritizing their resources toward the multiplayer component. A lot of fans are unsure what does this actually mean for Halo and the impact of this for the entire franchise. And I think it's important for us to break down this news and really discuss the good and honestly the bad of this entire update and what its impact's gonna be for the future. Let's jump into it. Firstly, if you like these type of news updates, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Content. So firstly, let's break down the official tweet from our boy Sketch. As season four was about to drop toward all Halo fans, Sketch or Brian Gerard had submitted this tweet kind of giving us an update. We refined our top priorities, shifted resources internally this year. We had to make the decision to forego seasonal narrative cutscenes to make room for the team to continue focusing on highly requested features, content, and improvements for Halo Infinite. While the job is far from over, Season 4 marks another big step forward where we remain committed to this journey with the Halo community. Now, obviously, this is not an easy statement to make. And I think for really anyone at 3 for 3, they obviously knew that they would get a lot of flack from this. And IGN themselves had really discussed this entire update, really getting answers from 3 for 3, discussing really what is the cause of this shift. And obviously, a lot of people would point directly to the cuts over at Microsoft that had cut thousands of jobs all across their entire industry. And for 343 alone, the entire campaign team was essentially shafted or cut completely from the entire company. Now, obviously, this kind of goes along with a lot of the rumor takes that 343 would be coming that publisher for Halo, where they'd be dishing out different projects to different companies to develop their IPs under that Halo umbrella. And it seems as if, according to Sketch and many others in the gaming community, that Reefer 3 would now prioritize the multiplayer aspects of Halo Infinite and try to develop that into really the content and the gameplay and make sure that that's running top notch rather than having to focus on story based content. Now, I think we can look at this in really two ways. If we're looking at the good, I think the biggest thing is that now 343 has no reason to tell us that they can't come out with multiplayer based content on a timely map. I think the biggest thing that we have to look at here is that 343 did have a lot of cuts when that entire incident happened with Microsoft. And I think losing on all those different people that have been working on the project, obviously you don't want to see anyone go, but losing all those people means that they can now really prioritize what do they want Halo Infinite to be for the near future. And I think the biggest thing that a lot of people have been saying, whether it's Halo fans or just people within the kind of media, I think Halo Infinite is going to prioritize that gameplay because to be honest, Halo Infinite's gameplay is probably its best aspect. I think when you look at what the faults of what Halo Infinite has been, and I've been mentioning this for the entire time that Halo Infinite has been released, it's their lack of content. And the fact that they are now prioritizing this and fixing the bugs and fixing all the lack of content or any other issues that are at hand, Halo Infinite needs to feel like it's been completed. Because I feel like ever since the game had been released, we've always been saying, yeah, imagine the potential of Halo Infinite if it released full on day one. Well, now we're going to get to see whether or not that is going to be true. And if Halo Infinite does feel like it is a completed product, you will probably see a lot more people jumping back into the game and feeling like this is a worthwhile kind of investment going forward. Now, the bad aspect of this is the fact that when you think about all these great things that we saw with the story, I mean, people can rag on it or not, but Halo Infinite's story was great. And recently, we saw a lot more better cutscenes or story-driven content in the season passes, where you had really this entire storyline of the infected and kind of the, the visuals of the cutscenes, everything was looking great. And a lot of people were excited to see what would season four kind of dive into and what would that mean going even beyond this season of when it comes to the story or side story that they're going to try to tell. Now it means that three for three is no longer going with that entire plan and they'd rather work on the multiplayer aspects and let somebody else jump into kind of that story driven content and whether you like it or not that's 
still not a great look. And the problem is, is that we're not going to see a Halo story really for the foreseeable future. It's really going to be up to that new company, that new publisher that's going to push the next narrative going forward. And a lot of people are saying certain affinity. There has been no declaration yet that certain affinity is making the next story driven Halo game. We only know that they are working on the battle royale for Halo, but a lot of rumors, a lot of leaks had said that the battle royale is now being added to the new game or next installment for Halo. So maybe certain affinity is going to be the ones working on that campaign. Maybe not. And I think that is really where the negative comes into play here. And it's kind of bad to see that Microsoft is not really giving resources to Halo to 3 for 3 to help develop this game even further. I mean, that is one of the biggest faults of this. And we all kind of know that, yes, 3 for 3 has had problems for a long time. But you can now look at that entire list of heads or leads of 3 for 3 from the first day of launch till now. And I can guarantee you 90% of them are gone. So yes, I can say that 3 for 3 for years has been a problem. The start of Halo Infinite was a problem, but you've changed the entire leadership aspect. And now you're asking them to make this into gold, make this into diamonds when you're not giving them any sort of resources or materials to help them get there. And I think that is a struggle and that is a bad look for Microsoft. Halo is one of your key IPs. You can't just disregard it and not give it resources that 3 for 3 needs or any other company that's working on it, whatever resources they need to keep this, this content flowing, to keep the story going. That's what people loved about Halo was the story and the multiplayer combined, not just one aspect of it. And lastly, I always feel like whenever we get something good, there's always a bat. Like 3 for 3 is becoming that company that's like, you know, hey, listen, uh, Forge is finally dropping and there's, there's so much you can do with it. It looks great. All these new maps you can make, but we're not going to have split screen co-op or better yet. Hey, season four is the biggest season we've ever had. The most content, the most maps, most game modes, all these new things you can get or we're going to stop with these content seasonal drops like why is it every time that i look forward to something in halo infinite that i also have to be on the lookout for a new intruder or somebody new that's gonna punch me square in the face with some bad news to, to make the day a little bit worse like three for three I, I said this in previous videos i said this in previous reviews of the seasons that you need to have constant dubs you need to have wins to get people on board and to get people excited for the future but damn like you, you gotta like i know this update that you just posted doesn't ruin my entire day but it just kind of feels like every time there's a good thing it's hit with the bad and overall this update i i honestly think won't necessarily change everything for halo infinite but it does kind of go along with what a lot of the rumors were when we saw the cuts at microsoft i think a lot of people already kind of said that halo infinite when it comes to its story drops or story expansions is kind of done and i think a lot of people after that you know all those massive cuts that at microsoft had happened people kind of assumed that three for three might enter into that publisher mode and this kind of seems like that's what they're gonna do as much as i think the great things that we'll see with multiplayer continue and expand for the future months you know for however long three for three or microsoft will allow them to continue working on halo infinite i just think that it is definitely a downer that we're we're not going to get a story with with master chief and others into our controllers into our consoles however long that they feel like it. and the only story that we're going to get is from the halo tv show and god help us all if that's the only thing we're going to see for the next few years i can't see master chief naked again i think it's already ingrained into my memory and i can't survive another go at it. thank you everyone for watching what do you think about this halo news does this rain on your parade does this seem like a small issue that we already kind of knew about let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't done so yet hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content until next time this is marsman signing off peace out guys <laughs>